Hello everyone, I'm Cameraman Railfan and welcome to the first episode of Engines of BNSF. To kick off the series, I will be talking about the General Electric Dash 8. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. We're already halfway to 10,000. Let's see how quickly we can get to that number. So if you're new, be sure you click that subscribe button. Secondly, I want to give a quick shout out to Triple C's Reactions for helping me out with this video and you'll see the part that he stars in later on. So now let's get into this video, shall we? Production of the Dash 8 started in 1984 as a replacement for General Electric's line of Dash 7 locomotives including the B30-7, B36-7, and the C30-7. The first Dash 8 built was designated as the B32-8. B stands for the wheel arrangement of B-B, -B. 32 signifies the horsepower, which in this case is 3200, and Dash 8 is the model series. Only 49 of these units were built, with the majority going to Norfolk Southern, which bought 45. Burlington Northern purchased three units, numbered 5497 to 5499. These units were used as demonstrators for the railroad from 1984 to 1991, and were later returned to GE. BN signed a contract with Locomotive Management Services, or LMX, to utilize their fleet of B39-8s as lease units. Santa Fe soon bought three B39-8s for their roster, numbered 7400 to 7402. In 1988 and 1989, Santa Fe purchased 40 more-8s. This time they were designated as B40-8s, numbered 7410 to 7449. This soon led to the development of the B40-8W in 1990, which featured the American Safety Cab, or Wide Cab, which is what the W in the designation represents, Wide Cab. This design did away with the side doors and walkways of standard cab models, as it became a standard requirement by the Federal Railroad Administration as a way to better protect crews in the event of a collision. Santa Fe was the only buyer of this unit when it was new from GE. You are such an idiot! Amtrak has wide cab dash 8s, therefore Santa Fe WASN'T THE ONLY BUYER! That is true, but Amtraks are not the same as Santa Fe's. For one thing, both have a different paint scheme. Thanks, Captain Obvious. But one of the biggest differences is Amtrak's wide cabs are B-32s, not B-40s like Santa Fe's. The railroad purchased 83 of these units from GE, numbered 500 to 582. This model became quite popular as it was one that helped revive the red and silver war bonnet colors. The B40-8W was the last 4-axle unit built by GE because although the 4-axle 8s were pretty reliable, they weren't really selling as good as GE had hoped. Even their rival EMD was struggling to sell their own 4-axle models. The main reason for the lack of sales with the two companies was because during this time, railroads in the United States were starting to move away from 4-axle locomotives. They were favoring six-axle designs more, as they output better tractive effort and allowed for better weight distribution, which caused less wear and tear on the track. Rewind to November 1987, when GE began production of the C40-8. This model is essentially a six-axle version of the B40-8, with the C in the designation denoting the C-C wheel arrangement. In 1990, GE launched the wide cab variant of the model, and Santa Fe began taking delivery of the newer C40-8W in 1992. That same year, three of the units were used as helpers for Santa Fe 484 steam engine number 3751 during an 18-day employee recognition special from Los Angeles to Chicago and return. This was done for both insurance reasons and to showcase the red and silver Superfleet engines with streamlined passenger cars. The railroad bought 127 units, numbered 800 to 926, with an additional 25, numbered 927 to 951, being designated as C41-8Ws due to the slightly higher horsepower rating of 4,135 horsepower. B40s had a length of 66 feet 4 inches, a width of 10 feet 1 and a half inches, a height of 15 feet 4 and a half inches, weighed 280,000 pounds, and featured GE 752 AF traction motors that output a tractive effort of 68,500 pounds starting and 68,000 pounds continuous. 
C40s had a length of 70 feet 8 inches, a width of 10 feet 2 inches, a height of 15 feet 4 inches, weighed 391,600 pounds, and featured 752 AH traction motors with a tractive effort of 106,790 pounds starting and 92,750 pounds continuous. Both types are powered by a GE 7FDL 4-stroke V16 diesel engine. Both have a top speed of 70 miles per hour, and both came equipped with the Leslie RS3L air horn, which sounds a little something like this. On September 22, 1995, the Burlington Northern Railroad merged with the Santa Fe to form the current BNSF. Some changes appearance-wise after the 1995 merger included changing the railroad markings either by replacing the side lettering with BNSF or just simply adding a small patch below the cab number. While most units were being renumbered during this time, including standard cab dash 8s, both wide cab variants retained their original numbers. As time went on, several of the units began to receive new paint schemes. Standard cab dash shades received primarily the Heritage 1 pumpkin scheme, while wide cabs began to receive Heritage 2 colors and would later receive Heritage 3. Some, however, have yet to be repainted, retaining their original Santa Fe colors. Many of the units in war bonnet colors have been given the nickname of pink bonnets due to the red paint being so faded they now look pink. In the early 2010s, 67 C40-8Ws, 800 to 866, were sold to Canadian National. In 2014, the last of these units were retired from regular service with BNSF and have been stored at various yards ever since. 22 B40-8Ws were either sold off to various railroads or simply just scrapped. The remaining 59 found new life acting primarily as yard power and on short distance local runs. Standard cab dash shades were renumbered again, this time 561 to 597, with some breaks in between these numbers. Not all of these units were renumbered as some had been retired from BNSF's roster. In 2018, BNSF began sending their B40 8Ws to GE for a complete rebuild. These rebuild modifications include remote control technology for yard switching operations and a new paint scheme, known as the Heritage 4. In early 2020, all remaining C40-8Ws, some B40-8s, and various other locomotives were moved south to Galveston, Texas for storage and eventual scrapping. These units sure had a good run, but no matter what happens to them in the future, whether they are scrapped or sold to other operators, they have served the railroad well and have truly earned a special place in both the hearts of many rail fans and in the pages of the ATSF and BNSF railways. Well, that does it for this first episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like the video and click the subscribe button if you haven't. And I'll see you next time when I talk about the EMD GP60.